Faulty or improper wiring causes tens of thousands of fires each year. The Consumer Product Safety Commission has produced this video to help you protect your home, your family, and your life. We drove away, 45 minutes we came back, and it was up in smoke, flames shooting up alongside the chimney, probably due to an electrical failure in the basement. And it, our whole life of living here since 1964, 31 years, was sort of gone. It seemed like it was just gone. The fire was electrical, and it started in the kitchen. And he showed, just walking in the house, there was debris everywhere, the smoke, the, the dirt, and everything just kind of falling in and burned. And, and the feelings were of, where am I going from here? How am I going to fix this? What do I do? Why did it happen to me? Nationally, more than 40,000 fires are caused by faulty electrical systems every year, resulting in hundreds of deaths and injuries. The financial cost of these fires is high as well, more than $2 billion each year. They drive up insurance rates, increase the cost for community fire protection, and risk the lives of firefighters. Older houses are particularly at risk for electrical fires. A fire caused by faulty electrical systems can destroy your home and everyone in it within minutes. The National Fire Protection Association, National Institute of Standards and Technology, and the Consumer Product Safety Commission have sponsored a study of wiring in older homes. That study has led to a set of guidelines known as NFPA 73. Following these guidelines could dramatically reduce your risk of fire and electrical shock. When your pipes or your roof leak, you get them fixed. Same thing with your heating or air conditioning. But when it comes to your electrical system, you don't think about it. This could be a fatal mistake. Look around your house and you'll see that today we all own a lot more things that use electricity than we did 40 years ago. Appliances like microwave and toaster ovens and blenders mean a much heavier demand on electrical systems. There are many things in our electrical systems which are potential fire hazards. Some hazards are more obvious than others, but we need to pay attention to each and every one of them to make our homes safe. Let's take a tour together through the electrical system in this older home in Redlands, California to see if we can find some things that need attention. There's only one outlet in this room. If the family moving in is anything like my family, I know what's going to happen. People are going to use this, an extension cord for an entertainment center or a TV set. But extension cords should never be used in place of fixed wiring. Damaged plugs or insulation can result in sparking. If you run extension cords under rugs or through doors or windows, they can be damaged or cut. So if you're going to use more than one heavy-duty appliance, one outlet isn't enough. Several outlets are needed here to make this room safe. The same goes for other rooms in a home, like kitchens, bathrooms, and other areas where you draw a lot of power. The lighting in this kitchen needs some work. There's no sturdy protective box, and the insulation is starting to crumble. They probably put in a 150-watt bulb in a fixture that was only rated for 60 or 75 watts, and that's not safe. If they needed more light, they should have installed the proper fixture. This closet lighting fixture is way too close to the shelf. Fill the shelf with sheets, blankets, and towels, and you have flammable materials against a hot bulb, an invitation to disaster. The solution? Install a cooler new fixture further away from the shelf. Sometimes switches can come loose from the wall and the movement of the wiring back and forth can break connections 
damage insulation, or make bare wires touch metal, any one of these can cause a fire. In a safely wired home, all the fixtures, lighting fixtures, switches, wall sockets, junction boxes, are insulated and firmly secured. Current wiring standards require a sturdy box at all junctions to contain any sparking. Here is some wiring where the connections have corroded, the insulation has cracked and separated from the wires, and there are scorch marks indicating overheating. Here is an older kind of wiring which is only rated for use out in the open. When covered with insulation, it can overheat and create a real fire hazard. If you add insulation to your house, be careful not to cover wiring and fixtures unless an electrician has certified that they are rated for such conditions. There are some aspects of home electrical systems that require professional inspection. For example, your inspector should check the grounding of your whole electrical system. Grounding makes the system work safely, and it can help prevent electrocution in homes that have grounding type outlets. Grounding outlets have three holes. The round one accepts the grounding prong on an appliance plug. Older homes may not have grounding type outlets. If that's the case, the old two-hole outlets can be replaced with an electrocution protection outlet. This device is known as a ground fault circuit interrupter, or GFCI. It provides the best electrocution protection, and it doesn't need grounding to do a superior job of stopping electrocutions. Electrocution protection is especially important in the case of appliances with metal parts, or rooms such as laundry, kitchen, or bathrooms where there is water and the danger of shock is greater. In older homes with original electrical systems, all fixtures and wiring lead back to a fuse box or circuit breaker panel. In some fuse boxes, too many circuits have been connected to one fuse. Older fuse boxes may have corroded connections, unplugged holes, or missing panel doors. Your electrician can install a new electrical panel with more circuits. Some new breaker boxes also have the advantage of a built-in surge suppressor, which helps protect appliances against lightning or power surges. A newly developed electrical safety feature is the Arc Fault Circuit Interrupter, or AFCI. Whereas GFCIs can protect you from electrocution, an AFCI can protect you from a deadly electrical fire. Arc faults occur when electricity jumps from wire to wire and can happen when wires and fixtures are damaged or have deteriorated over time. These arcs generate high temperatures which can ignite nearby combustible materials such as wood, paper, or home furnishings. The AFCI, which can be installed in place of a conventional circuit breaker, minimizes this risk by detecting these faults as they occur cutting the power to the circuit, and removing the heat source that can lead to a fire. The following steps can make your home electrical system safer. First, check the system yourself and take preventative measures. Remove extension cords from dangerous positions. Take the pressure off of overloaded circuits by decreasing the electricity that's flowing through them, and make sure your light bulbs and fuses are the right size. Then, get a professional to make an inspection of your electrical system and consider having conventional breakers replaced with AFCIs. Ask if your inspector is aware of and follows the National Fire Protection Association Maintenance Code for Inspection, known as NFPA 73. If you can't afford to improve your electrical system all at once, do it in stages. Fix the most dangerous problems first. Look into a home improvement loan to spread out the costs over time and ask your insurance agent if your safety improvements qualify you for a reduction in premiums. Taking care of your electrical system will make your home a safer place to live. Remember, the electrical systems in your house won't last forever. They need to be maintained just like your car, your furnace, your roof, or your chimney. It's well worth the effort to have somebody come in and take a check and for that feeling of safety for yourself and knowing that you won't have to go through what I did. To obtain a copy of the NFPA 73 Residential Electrical Maintenance Code, professionals should contact the National Fire Protection Association, 1 Battery March Park, P.O. Box 9101,
Quincy, Massachusetts, 02269, or call 1-800-344-3555. You may also obtain CPSC's Home Electrical Wiring Guide by sending your name and address to Home Wiring, U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission, Washington, D.C., 20207. Other helpful electrical safety information is available through the Electrical Safety Foundation International. Visit them online at www.electrical-safety.org or call 703-841-3229.